Thank you. I've been taking buses just like these to get everywhere for the past year. To get to school, to go to my friend's houses, to go get errands done, everything, okay? And I'm gonna tell you why these buses around here are kind of a hunk of junk, honestly, okay? But first, my credentials. So you're probably wondering, right? Who's this idiot schmuck and why is he about to diss our beloved transit system? Let me tell you, okay? I've been riding transit for the past five years. Two years in Nelson, three years in Vancouver. I've ridden transit across BC, across Canada, North America, and Europe, okay? I've got plenty of experience taking hundreds of buses, spent thousands of hours. That's enough about me. Now let's talk about the real problems with the transit system, okay? And first, the schedule. It's terrible, okay? Buses run seemingly at any hour, at any time, okay? There's no consistencies between buses, no times. It's not by the hour, it's not by the half hour. It's, it's, a, it's complete, it seems completely at random. Like, let's just have a look at this thing, okay? Look at this, utter complete nonsense. Like, no, no consistency between times, nothing. And don't even get me started on weekends. The weekends are god awful. This is the really killing blow to the schedules, okay? So on Saturdays, you have basically no buses. There is a two hour gap between 3.50 and 6.40 where there are no buses that go to Rosemont, okay? You just have to walk home, I guess, okay? And But to make it worse, Sundays, no buses. How am I supposed to get to church? There's no way for me to get around. I'm filling this on a Sunday. I had to walk here. I've got to walk home. It's ridiculous. You might be like, okay, Max, you know what? You're being a bit unfair. Our transit system runs long distances, and that's true, okay? I can take a bus from here all the way to Argenta. I can take a bus from here all the way to Nacos. That's one of the longest transit routes in the world, almost 200 kilometers. But you wanna know how often that bus to Nacos runs? Twice a week. If I go up there, I can't get back for a few days. Like, it's absolutely ridiculous. Why have a bus that is next to useless? And of course, I can hear the people saying, well, you know what, Max, the buses don't run very often, but at least they're on time, at least they're consistent. Absolutely not, okay? Buses are always late, and not even by the average two minutes. I'm talking five minutes frequently, okay? They leave late. It is it is impressive how many times I'm just standing around a bus stop thinking, man, I wonder if my bus is coming today, you know? And sometimes they don't even show up. I've had buses not show up before. It is unacceptable to have buses that don't arrive on a, on a schedule that is so far apart. And it's not even like this problem is something that isn't fixable, okay? Having buses that run in town, the buses that run in town, run on a proper schedule every half hour, something acceptable like that is totally feasible. They just haven't done it. Now, Nelson's transit problems aren't only self-inflicted ones, okay? There's also a problem with the riders. They don't, they don't have any sort of transit smarts or street smarts, okay? And it's a real issue. Have a look at this diagram on a pop-up up screen somewhere, okay? You're not supposed to, when you walk on a bus, you're not supposed to just kind of walk along and kind of lollygag a bit and stand in the middle. And there's some stairs about two thirds of the way down. You don't stop before those stairs. You walk right up into the back, especially when the bus gets busy. It's forgivable if you're one of the few people on the bus, but if the bus gets busy, you walk up those stairs and you go right to the back so there's more safe people to get on. And every day I see this, the bus will get busy, people will not walk up and they will not go to the back to create more space so everyone can get on. And people will be left at bus stops because there isn't enough space, especially during COVID. And the problem with riders extends also the payment offices. Now, this isn't their fault. This is purely the fault of BC Transit. They don't want to update, okay? They, we're stuck using these stupid little magnetic cards, okay? These things demagnetize, okay? And they suck. They bend. They, you can lose them super easy. And they're not replaceable. If you lose that shit, that's $120 down the drain. They should update to like most other major transit systems, okay? Using either a compass card or some sort of the tap option where you can tap your card or tap your credit or debit card. So much easier and so much better. Less risk of losing out on money and more options for people to pay. Another issue with the schedule, okay, is how early it finishes. I'll pop it up on screen right now for proof. 9.45 when, on most weekdays is when it ends. And it's way earlier on weekends, okay? It's, it's ridiculous. 9.45, I finish work after that. I know people that finish work after that. How are we supposed to get home if we don't have a car? That's the whole point of a transit system. Smart, finishing that early is utterly ridiculous, okay? I've seen much longer transit systems in Kelowna and Kamloops that, can, that finish much later, or they even go all night. Running in a single bus all night is not that hard. And let's talk about the absolutely outlandish pricing they have here in the Kootenays, okay? It's unbelievable. $45 a month for a monthly pass, okay? Compare that to Vancouver's $55 a month, it's ridiculous. This transit system is so much smaller and so much worse, it is not worth the $10 discrepancy. It is absolutely ridiculous the amount of money they charge. And let's do yet another comparison to Vancouver, okay? Here, everyone I know owns a car. Once you get on a you got you're driving a car. In Vancouver, I know I think two people with their end, and I know not a single person who owns their own car. I know people who are in third year university who don't even have their L because the transit system actually functions, okay? Around here, everyone's gotta have a car because the transit system is 
is bunk. It doesn't work. It doesn't function. No one wants to take something that won't get them where they need to go. And really, what makes it all worse is that it's clear that they're not even trying, okay? All it takes is just to run a few more buses, and all their problems are basically solved. They just don't want to spend a little bit of extra money. And it's crazy, because you can see glimmers of, of good things in this system, okay? I, my bus drivers are super friendly, always up for a conversation, all around great people. The range is fantastic too. I can go to Trail, I can go to Salmo, I can go to Argenta, I can go to Nacusp, all on one fare. But the schedule is what ruins everything. It is one of the largest problems with the transit in the West Kootenai. Let's wrap this thing up. You're tired of hearing my voice, I'm tired of talking. It's pretty easy to know that the transit system here is total garbage if you step foot on it. But a few of you who haven't, I'll sum it up real quick for you, okay? The payment system is bad, the schedule is utter horseshit, and, and there are just better options around. And that's really all there is to it. And because it's Sunday, I'm about to head to the 45 minute walk home. Thanks so much.